What's up, guys? What is up, DCS crew? Welcome back. Um, today is going to be a, a bit of an interesting video. Um, it's actually about um, Hanks. Now, um, Hanks have actually been something that I've dabbled in, you know, for some time now. Uh, carrying one, I actually carrying one uh, right in the middle of my my wallet. Uh, it's a smaller Hank, and actually, uh, I'll show you which one it is. Um, this is actually my wallet. It's from Recycled Firefighter, and this is the uh, the wallet. It's a, uh, excuse me, the Hank. It's a black paisley with a microfiber uh, background from uh, the hankering. Uh, it's great for a bunch of different uses, and aside from that, it's great for covering your mouth and your nose, especially during COVID-19 days, like the date of this video unfortunately, uh, <laughs> ent entails. Um, right now, uh, you know, we are going through that whole COVID-19, and I guess you can consider that a bit of a timestamp. But over the years, I've collected a few, <laughs> some from different companies. There's the Hankering, um, there's Hero Badger. I have some from Joe Don the Shadow, uh, from uh, Shadowborn Hanks. Uh, let me see here. There's JD from Shadowborn Hanks. I haven't even taken that one out yet. Um, I do have some from Stark Supply Company, and recently there is uh, there's actually been a new company that makes Hanks that um, I found on Instagram, and I picked up two. Uh, it is two five two Hanks. There we go. And so um, in picking these two up, I'm like, man, these are pretty fresh. So I told my boy Ray, he actually picked up a few and. I really liked the Hanks, so I made a new order, and they're right here. <laughs> they actually just got here today. Huge shout out to Beth and uh, I think Jared from uh, 252 Hanks. We're going to go ahead and unbox this, or unwrap this, I guess, and uh, see what's inside. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Uh, and uh, before I get started, just for the record, they do make Hanks, um, uh, 252 Hanks, by the way, which you can go ahead and find them online at 252 Hanks uh, on Instagram. That's actually how I found them. Um, you can actually get these in several sizes. I think they make up to 11 inches by 11 inches. Uh, typically, I carry something a little bit smaller. It's going to be 8 by 8. And it's great to be able to go ahead and pose, you know, with your knife and, you know, do the whole pocket dump thing and put, you know, your Weehaw bit driver here and, you know, a little something else right next to it. You know, that sort of thing and make it look all sexy for the tube. Now, um, the truth is... I've been using them for quite, you know, some time and, uh, you know, I, I just figured, okay, I'm going to get a couple of different ones. I want to be able to go ahead and, you know, uh, get some of different colors, get some of different designs. And some of the designs that they have are actually really unique. These, uh, I've, I've wanted to get stuff like this for a while. I like this one with the mustaches now that I've shaved my beard and I'm really more of a, a chin stash kind of guy. <laughs> That's actually the reason why I picked this up. And uh, this one is more, it, it reminds me of that whole like Sailor Jerry type of thing. It's got the uh, carpet DM or, you know, seize the day, uh, you know, the sailor, uh, it, you know, no better love. It's got some really cool uh, designs on it and it has that kind of Sailor Jerry look. And again, it's from 252 Hanks. That's a nice little stitching uh, on the borders and really nice, simple, you know, the fist with the 252 Hanks logo. It's you know, it's not, it's, it's hard to miss. So that being said, um, I did pick up a couple more. Uh, hopefully it doesn't have a receipt in here. So you don't see exactly what I paid because, uh, I did pay a little bit more being that some of these are premium materials, but let's go ahead and get started. By the way, the knife that you see here is the now discontinued Kershaw Dividend in 420 high carbon steel. This is the FRN version, which I happen to like because uh, the uh, the FRN uh, just kind of feels a little bit smoother in the hand, you know, with uh, this particular texture uh, rather than the flat scales for uh, all of the other ones that aren't FRN, including, you know, the M390 and the 20CV versions, I think, or the, uh, the composite D2 and the... Uh, the N690, I might pick up one of those and do like a scale swap, but for the record, this one is really good, especially when you can get it to a nice uh, hair popping edge. In any case, let's see what's in here. All right, now as you can see, they, they wrap it pretty good. Oh, nice. All right, let's see what we got here. Throw this to the side, do a little uh, everyday city carry action there. Shout out to my boy Ray, who by the way, 
bought like 10 Hanks when I referred them over to, to 252 Hanks. I, I think I brought some sales over when I told them that the Hanks were pretty legit. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. First and foremost, uh, when you go to, uh, to Instagram, you're going to see this. This is the 252 Hanks sticker. Well, the logo. Uh, they have a nice little decal here. I might actually use that for an upcoming project. Stay tuned on that. Put that to the side. A nice little thank you note. 252 Hanks at uh, ncmom.edc and at dirtyhands.edc. It's a, I believe it's a husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend or significant others operation. Those are their respective uh, channels and 252 Hanks is the official channel. So it says, thank you for your recent Hank purchase and your continued support. We hope they will serve your collection well. Please consider us for your next EDC Hank purchase. Beth and Jeremy Medlin at 252 Hanks. Super nice that they go ahead and include a decal and a small thank you letter, which is uh, greatly appreciated. So you are very welcome and thank you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about these right quick. All right. Now, I, <laughs> I'm going to start with, um, let's go from left to right. Now, this one I wanted to start off with because I just thought that this was a really dope design. Uh, you have the skull and crossbones in the back and in the front. You have uh, kind of, it, it reminds me of that movie, The Skeleton Key. It's got those old school keys. And what really caught my attention is this kind of old gold or even like a brassy copper design. And then you see the actual cross stitching. If Beth or, Beth or Jeremy actually do all this, that is some really tight work on the cross stitching. Really, really nice. That's really badass. And I think that that's going to be really cool with some of the brass and uh, different color, like the brown micarta, you know, uh, earth color uh, type of, of knives and stuff that I carry in my collection. Plus, I have some really nice wallets in a fine brown leather. I think it's going to look really well and pair really well when I carry my uh, my Hank in those, like I carry, uh, you know, with my, my standard wallet. Like, as you saw earlier, I do like to kind of stick a Hank uh, inside of my wallet, you know, so that I have... A little something with it and I just put it in my pocket and I always have that there in case I need it so that I, I'll go ahead and get that one out of the way really really cool like I said uh, it's like it's like that uh, skeleton key look with awesome awesome crosshatch and uh, that design and then these skull and crossbones in the back really awesome and they make for good uh, EDC you know uh, dump background so uh, start from that one and then <clears throat> this one here this one um, I wanted something with more of a nautical look. Uh, it's got a nice straight, very simple uh, kind of stitching, uh, but the stitching itself is two-tone. As you can see, it's actually a blue light, actually, yeah, it's a blue and light blue uh, look to it. Very, very nice. It's got the nice, um, <clears throat> you know, the, the anchor on there, uh, nice nautical theme. And then in the back, it's got um, the design for like the waves in those kind of, uh, vintage Japanese pictures, but if you look at it, it's actually silver lined. Super really nice. I, I mean, the, the, the camera does not do it justice, guys. I gotta tell you, it's got that nice reflection to it. And personally, I always wanted something that was very reminiscent to the painting. Uh, I believe it's called the Kamehameha Wave. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball, but even before that, I was a huge fan of those that style of painting. Um, and even when I used to DJ, because um, going back way before EDC or anything else, back when I used to DJ, um, I used to order a lot of records from a label named Tsunami. Um, Tsunami was a, a record label where if you are fans of old school uh, electronic music, was uh, Ferry Corson's label, if I'm not mistaken. And um, they had the uh, Kamehameha Wave or Tsunami Style Wave as one of the uh, the backgrounds for many of their albums. So this kind of like, you know, it's kind of like a throwback to that. And I like the fact that you have the anchor on one side, which looks very, you know, nice and uniform. And then you have the waves in the back, which look, you know, very, um, it's it's very uh, wishy-washy. It's, it's like almost energetic where, where you know, the, the anchor is actually nice and neat and uh, just very nicely, you know, uh, stitched on. I mean, as you can see, uh, you know, the, the stitching on each side, it doesn't look, you know, like uh, it's been put in at an angle. It's nice and straight. I really like that about this particular Hank, that it has uh, just a very neat side and then it's like a, you know, an adventurous side. So uh, huge, huge fan of that. Now, <laughs> one of the coolest ones that I have here is the, is what they call the Skeleton Saloon. Okay. Now, um, before I go ahead and I talk about this, um, 
and the reason why I got this one, um, ironically, I I didn't realize what the back one, uh, the background was, and this threw me off, and I was like, holy shit, that is so badass. So it's kind of like a uh, a cow skin uh, background, you know, it's like a brown cow, you know, kind of uh, skin background, and it's beautiful, it's awesome microfiber, and again, the stitching itself tells the tale. You can see that. It's got that old school kind of Oregon Trail style look. It even looks like, honestly, if you look at it and you're kind of drunk, it looks like an old school map, you know, <laughs> that you can go ahead and plot things and stuff like that of an area. But in any case, um, it is meant to look like a, uh, a you know, a cow's, uh, basically a cow's leather skin. Very beautiful feeling on here. It's that, got that microfiber uh, feel. And uh, now back to the front. The front is actually, and uh, I'm showing you the full, uh, you know, eight by eight, so you can go ahead and see it. And they make a bigger version, but this one they got because they were inspired by the movie uh, Tombstone. Okay, now Tombstone is an awesome, awesome movie. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's got Kurt Russell, it's got Val, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, Val Kilmer's in it. Um, there's a bunch of people that are in the movie. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dog Holiday. I'm a huge fan of uh, White Earp. That's a, it's a great, great movie. You know, it's a period piece. And I don't watch a lot of period pieces, but this reminded me of the movie Tombstone. And when I saw it, it was immediately what struck my eye. And ironically, the moment I said that, um, they actually, you know, I looked down in the description and that's what they said. They're like, you know, we got our inspiration for this one based on the movie Tombstone. So I thought that was really badass. I said, man, you know what? Let me go ahead and pick it up uh, because I know that that's probably going to sell fast. It probably has, to be completely honest. But um, I did end up getting one. And now my collection, which was originally two, these first two, now includes these three. So I got five badass Hanks, one for every day of the work week. And obviously, as you saw earlier... I have a few to hold me off on the weekends, right? <laughs> Not even including the one that's in my uh, wallet, but these specifically are from 252 Hanks. Now, remember guys, um, you know, uh, the things that you wanna look for in a Hank, you wanna look at the quality stitching, okay? You wanna look at the, uh, what you get for the price, meaning, you know, uh, if they're gonna sell you a 15 Hank, a $15 Hank, is it worth 15 bucks or is it worth, does it look like it's worth 20, 25, 30, or does it look like it's worth like 10 bucks? You know, uh, there's a difference between carrying something like this and just a quick little mi microfiber cloth, you know, those little cloths that you get with some of the companies, you know, this is an artisan cutlery cloth. Uh, you know, you can, you can carry something like that, but the truth is you want to get something that's not only stylish, it says a little bit about you and it has some use. I have found the best use based on eight by eight and it's great for, uh, EDC, you know, like pocket dump pictures. It's great to go ahead and carry, you know, small in your pocket. Uh, it, it, it's great for me. So, um, your mileage may vary, but in this particular case, I'm a huge fan of these, uh, be sure to go ahead and check out 252 Hanks. These are the people that you should follow if you are interested in getting some of these Hanks. And uh, remember guys, you know, you could find uh, a bunch of different Hanks online. While I did mention that these were from 252, you know, you can get them from Stark Supply Company, you can get them from uh, Pocket Rubs Hank Company, which makes some really, really cool masks. Uh, I got some masks from them made out of some Hank material that they had uh, actually left over. Um, let me think here. I even have some from companies that aren't even around anymore, like uh, Hero Badger. They actually hooked me up with these. Um, you know, uh, Shadowborn Hanks, like I showed you earlier. But just remember, guys, whatever you choose, okay, make sure that they're quality Hanks. And just remember, when you EDC, think of DCS. Huge shout out to 252 Hanks. Huge shout out to Everyday City Carry, all my boys on the Apex Pass Around, uh, Outer Limitless, uh, Tier 1. Um, and, uh, you know, Zach stuff, uh, Big Red EDC, and all the other homies that I, I missed, unfortunately. But uh, that said, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Uh, I got some pictures to take. I've got some stuff to do. I'm going to go ahead and wash these so I can go ahead and get started on using them. And uh, don't be surprised if you start seeing them in pictures on my Instagram, which is at Daily Carry Solutions on Instagram. And I'm out, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Peace.